to start uh, in Opeth on the Watershed Tour, and how does it compare to this tour? Well, this tonight's the third show, so mm -hmm. it's, it is a bit different, this set, because we try to pick all the songs that relate with the songs on the Heritage. So it's, it's a bit more mellow set, but it's kind of dark and spooky as well, I think, and so far it came across pretty good. Of course you think it's a lot of death metal heads up there, but I think they, the old fans, they know that we can do different stuff like this, and most of them. Get it, you know. What do you say to criticism from fans who don't like the new stuff? Well, you can always listen to the old albums. As I said before, or some other band, I think the band needed to do this one. And we don't we don't roll out the growling in the future or anything. But that's kind of, kind of the way we want to be, a bit unpredictable. So, you never know what's going to happen on the next one. But what I say to him, I'll... Maybe if you listen a couple more times to the album, you get it. You know? um, I know I always had to listen to the new album several times for it to uh, really hit me. Yeah. Um, so, um, how come you decided to make several shorter tracks for Heritage instead of the really like fewer, longer ones yeah. that you normally do? I think it's something that just came out natural. You know, even the older old songs that are really long. It's just the way, when Michael writes it, it's, it's just the way it turns out. I don't think he thinks, or we think, before we do the album, that oh, we need to do shorter songs now so they can play it on the radio. But actually now, like the song Slither is just a bit more than three minutes, which is kind of rare. Yeah. Uh, how is touring with Catatonia? I know you've only been on tour with them for a couple of days, but... It's good. I mean, they're cool guys and we're all good friends with them. Jonas and Michael are like best pals. And, uh, we do like, spend Chris, well, not Christmas Eve, but like New Year's Eve and stuff like that. We usually celebrate together, so it's a cool tour. But it's in the beginning of it, so yeah. we might end up fighting or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite Opeth album? Yeah, it's difficult. Well, I really like. Um, I like them all actually because they're different. Every album has something new to offer. Uh, but Blackwater Park was the album that I started listening to before I joined Open. Uh, it kind of got me a bit, then I became a fan of the band. But I do like Still Life a lot too, and like some of the older stuff. Yeah. Um, I know the Michael said that um, he had a dream about the cover art for Heritage. Mm -hmm. Do you any, know any more about that? It looks more medieval this time instead of more gothic, like you normally do. Yeah, still Travis Smith has done most of the artwork, did it. But I think the artwork relates with the sound of the album because it's kind of 70s stylish, proggy looking, but still it's a bit occult and evil as well. You know, because you have, it's very colorish, but still it has some kind of darkness to it. Uh, but um, I think it was our manager, Andy, who he mentioned something about a tree. And then Michael, yeah, dreamed about this tree, and then in the morning he woke up and had his ideas with the heads in the tree and the seed burning and the lake of blood and all that stuff. But it's kind of symbolic. You have the stars on the cover. It's nine stars in the sun, and the stars symbolizes uh, all the older albums and the sun is the new one. So, some stuff in there. I think my last question is the most important one. Why did Michael cut his hair? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it grows fast. Oh, okay. You know, he has cut it the other week. You know. But he, you gotta ask him that. <laughs>